Hello everybody and welcome to the Garage Trailer for Farming Simulator 22. So I'm sure after seeing that you are just as excited now about the release of 22 as I am. I was already extremely excited, but even more so now. Because you can see what the lighting is going to be like in the game. And not only the ambient lighting, but also the lighting on the machines. Just look at that. It looks like we have LED lights as well. It really is something quite amazing. Uh, a huge, huge improvement over FS19. And well, look at that. Sunset or sunrise. Not too sure which one it is exactly, but that is very vibrant. And the lighting as well appears to be very natural. It doesn't seem to be cartoony, or um, as some people said, it gives an FS15 feel. Uh, definitely far from it now. Now, of course, this isn't called the lighting trailer. It is called the garage trailer. So we're looking at all the machines, well, some of the machines which are going to be in the game. As we know, there's absolutely loads. And the ones which feature in this video are a very small percentage of all the ones which are actually in the base game when it's released. So yeah, we've got combines, we've got harvesters, grape harvesters, and this just is really nice to see. Uh, and it is also good to see how much of the uh, sort of low light gameplay is being featured. Nice class combine there. Uh, this looks to be our Mediterranean map. Doing a bit of mowing there with a Zeta. Zeta crystal. And the garage itself has also been improved by the look of it. This is most likely where we would buy the machines. So you, when you get the preview, you'll see them in here. And we've got much more fancy lighting. But not only this, but we have the main spotlight actually focus on the tractor. And it's, it just looks much more pleasant to view uh, than in, previous, well, in the previous version. Uh, this is a good improvement. I'm just going to return the video to a bit of a faster speed. So we can see this part. So we've got a case doing some planting. The Case Magnum AFS Connect series. And then moving on from that, we have the Fence Katana doing some corn harvesting, but doing a bit of maize. And that is a 650 horsepower forager. We then have the McCormicks. Really nice to see McCormicks in the game. We have two of these tractors, uh, the X7 and the X8. The John Deere Combine Harvesters. Again, that lighting, the, the headlights looking absolutely fantastic. The X9 1100. Then we're moving on to a bit of potato harvesting with the Grimmer equipment, the Ventor 4150, weighs 30 tonnes, and then the Mack trucks, which I know a lot of people were very happy about seeing in the game. This is over on the USA map. And it looks like the Mack truck is heading over to the train station to sell a load of grain. So it looks like we do still have trains in the game, which is always a nice feature to have. 
the Max Superliner 6x4, and then we're on to the New Holland doing a bit of grape harvesting in the vineyard. New to FS22, the Broad 9070L grape harvester, and of course we do have the olive harvester as well. We have the Versatile 530 doing some disc harrowing, very big machine, great to have, very high horsepower. So it is the first time Versatile's been in farming simulator in the base game. Uh, class, we have had class before, but this is the new Tryon 750-720. And we also have the headers that go with us, of course. The Massey Ferguson 8S with the Pottinger Baylor. Yes, Massey Ferguson have made quite a few changes to their range of tractors recently. The 8S being one of the new additions. And then it concludes the trailer uh, with a load of machines outside the garage. And of course, as I said, that is just a small proportion of all the machines that are actually in the game. And I do also have some screenshots as well. We start off with the Versatile, which we've just seen, the Versatile 530, doing some cultivation work there. And uh, also this looks like we are actually again on the USA map. The USA map is called Elm Creek. And on the right hand side, I can see we do have the biomass plant, that is the South Valley biomass energy plant. We then have the Fent 714 and it's carting some maize. You can see we have a lovely maize crop or corn crop next to us there. And in the foreground we do have the grass which is all mixed up with some weeds and some wildflowers. So all looking very natural. Moving on from this, we then have the New Holland. This is the grape harvester, which we've just seen in the video, uh, but this is a nice close-up of it. You can see the grapes on the vine just before it gets harvested. It puts it in the hopper in the back and then we have some special grape trailers to unload it into. We then have the Grimmy Ventor 4150 potato harvester. And it's interesting to see the, uh, the texture on the ground when the potatoes have been harvested. And of course, Farming Simulator 22 does feature the parallax occlusion mapping, which makes the 2D textures look more 3D. Okay, moving on to the Massey Ferguson 8S. You can see we've got some rocks in the foreground. You can pick up those rocks uh, to clean the field up and we also have this is a corn field so you can see all the corn stalks there it's also autumn so we have some very vibrant trees in the background all looking very nice uh, then we have the new holland harvester again but only this time we are harvesting olives if I'm not mistaken it's actually two different machines which harvest the olives and the grapes but yeah as you can see in the background we have more autumnal trees and also a nice little bridge with some volumetric fog Okay, so that concludes those screenshots. We then have the garage screenshot, which really does show you quite a lot of the different machines. And yes, a lot of these are pretty big. Anyway, when the majority or all of the machines have been added to the official Farming Simulator website, I will be doing a full garage lineup on there, hopefully. Uh, if not, then it will be actually in the game, although I'm hoping to do both anyway. Uh, so this is just a nice little taster of what is to come. It is all looking very promising. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time. See you again very soon. Bye for now.